Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name's Didderman and welcome back to the Hearthstone Battlegrounds. Let's dive straight back into it and choose our hero for the run. We're playing on the new patch as well. Unfortunately, we didn't get offered any of the new heroes, but we do have some interesting ones to get started with. So Eudora, Starseeker, AFK and Pyramid are our choices um, and we are missing beasts from this game. So I think I might actually go with Eudora. Um, a hero that I haven't seen all that much of in the Battlegrounds at the moment after her nerf, but I really still think that she's actually quite strong. So, um, yeah, excited to play her again and see how it all pans out. All right, didn't quite pick up any of the, um, the token minions because obviously there's only one type of token minion in this game, but means we can't have an early dig, but it's not a terrible result. The uh, the general plan with, with the Eudora, how she is now, is to try and get to that Tavern Tier 4 re reward from your first dig. So sort of lets you have a go at Gold Grabber, essentially. So, um, anyway, it's all good. We picked up the 2-4, so we should do pretty well. All right, so we do win this one against the tokens. That's a good result. Although quite, quite good for him to have a token early on. Um, and I didn't actually mention, mention at the start, we do have one of the new heroes in the game. We've got Lord Barov, the betting hero, where you have to Your bet on who's going really to win. Um, quite an interesting hero in that regard, so kind of interesting, definitely. All right, we pick up our own token here, so I think that's a pretty decent option. Let's go for it. Yep. Uh, we may just put this guy at the end so we can do some tanking. Although, nah, we want him to attack at this stage. Okay, nice easy win here against Noz. Always a good result. So I think we'll probably level up this turn. We do want to obviously get up to that Tavern Tier 3 for our final dig, so we can have a shot at the Gold Grabber. Um, so the plan here will be to level. Could pick up the double on Humungulus, but I'm not all that excited by it, so we're just going to roll. Alright, and these are pretty average. We do have the Free Dealing Gambler, but yeah, not really something that we're all that interested in at this stage. Up against George here. He's still on Tavern Tier 1, which is kind of interesting, so... Maybe potentially taking a bit of a hit here, but we'll just have to see. Alright, double selfless hero is kind of interesting. Um, I think we're okay here though, because only one minion, so... Yep, we can just take that one out. Sort of weird he's still on 71 with that board, but anyway, each to their own. Okay, double by turn for us here. And we will obviously sell the token as well, um, so we can use that hero power. Very important. How many? We've got three to go. All right, so we don't have a massive rush to get up to three, which is nice. We can sort of just make our way through and get this done. Um, I think we're just going to keep this in attack order. So this guy should attack all the time before this guy gets sniped, especially with the taunt there. So, uh, yeah, pretty nice setup. Right, that's quite a strong board he has, unfortunately, so this will be a loss. Um, I don't think there's any way we can um, salvage this. Nope. Kind of interesting that he's that strong, I guess just from the, uh, the hero power. He does have, like, another minion on top of me as well, so... Anyway, it's fine. So, this turn will just be a double by turn again. We'll pick up the double on the Tidehunter and... Pick something else up, I guess. We could buff up the uh, the Volgar Humungulus, which seems like a pretty decent idea. Yep. Let's do that. We completely fill our board as well, which is nice. And we've got our Golden Minion coming out next turn, which is exciting. So, obviously, taverning up and looking for that Gold Grabber is the plan. Hopefully, we can pick it up. Alright, so I was sort of interested to see how strong Noz was um, here because he did actually tavern up to tavern tier 3 really early, so it doesn't seem like he's overly strong though. We're going to easily beat him here, so obviously a nice result there. He got a um, he got a golden swabby, which let him tavern up really aggressively, but it hasn't really seemed to have paid off for him, unfortunately. For him, nice obviously, not us. <laughs> Alright, so taverning up here, let's grab our golden minion. And we get a war leader. Nice. Okay, so that probably means we want to sell the uh, the overseer here just to play it out. Yep, let's do that. And then we'll see what we pick up. Come on, Mr. Gold Grabber. And we miss out, <laughs> sadly. Um, all right, and these are pretty average results as well. Um, I think at first glance, it's really just the, the captain, which is the decent option here. 
Um, yeah, so we'll grab the Ripsnail Captain. Fortunately, that does mean that we probably have to sell some of these guys as well, so... Um, we could pick up the Pirate as well, which actually isn't a bad idea because that's obviously decent with the Ripsnarl. Um, oh, we tripled this as well, so that's actually a good result. What we might do here is just wait a turn. Um, I know that might just seem absolutely crazy, and I should probably move these guys back as well. But, um, yeah, we'll just pick that up next turn because we can actually tavern up next turn as well. Thing. Or can we, actually? We're only going to have 9 gold, I think. How much gold do we have? Yeah, actually, it probably doesn't quite check out. But we could sell the scout as well if we wanted to tavern up and go for a, um, a tavern 2 5 with our triple reward. Right, I think we stand up pretty well here. Yep, so we'll win this one comfortably. Fantastic. Alrighty. Oh, I haven't seen that error message before from the, uh, the add-on. But secrets aren't yet supported, so it can't really give you any um, really an accurate weight. diagnosis, I guess. Um, all right, kind of interesting. So we well, we have a bit of a decision actually because we could go for gold grabber again um, because we do have already have two gold golden minions, or we could aggressively go to five. I'm a little bit torn. Um, all right, let's go up. Let's go up to um, to four and get a fiber. Let's get a fiber. I may have to sell something as well. Well, I will have to sell something to use my hero power. So there's that to consider as well. We did pick up a brand, which is kind of interesting here. Well, not kind of interesting, very interesting. So we will definitely pick him up. Now we could potentially go down a bit of a battle cry route if we so wanted. Since we have the bit of the uh, the Murloc set up as well, it's kind of interesting. So what I think I might do is I might actually just sell this gambler. And we're just going to use our hero power and roll. See if we can't find a couple of decent Murlocs. Okay, no Murlocs. Did pick up a couple of other interesting cards, but um, yeah. We'll just leave it for the moment. I was hoping to maybe find some cold lights or that sort of thing to play with Bran. So next turn will be a big turn. We're obviously going to find, find or figure out what we're trying to do here. Um, we could go Menagerie or we could go Murloc. Um, there's a lot of different options we can, we can go down. We kind of need to find the support for it sooner rather than later. Pretty average trade there, but we do get the attack in here, which is really nice. So, well done, Pirates. Good job. All right. So, it'd be awesome if we could start finding Primal Fins and that sort of stuff, and we could probably commit to Murloc. Nice work out there. All right. Nothing there that we're all that interested in. We obviously have the, the Pirates, but um, the brand really makes me sort of want to go down the... Um, the route of either Menagerie or something else, so let's try Menagerie. Alright, so we've got Demons, we have um, Pirates, we've got Murlocs, so probably want to sell one of these Murlocs, just get rid of it. Um, probably the Scout here, I think is probably the way to do it. Yep. Um, hmm. What about the Rip Snarl? Do I want to just keep buffing that up, potentially? I'm just trying to think what actually makes the most sense here. I mean, it it's technically the, technically does have the most stats, so play this out. Um, we could hang on to the to the to these guys and just get rid of the Murlocs as well. I'm a little bit torn. Nah, let's get rid of this guy. Right, gotta use this. Gonna use find some more cards as well. The Sensei doesn't actually buff anything up, so we can't really pick it up. And obviously we find the gold grabber as soon as I, as I sell the other things. So, um, anyway, it's fine. Um, right. So, gonna sell this. Pick up the gold grabber. Play it out. Yep. Play these out. Um, we will just roll once. And we'll just freeze that for the jug. Um, okay, so I think we're set here. Uh, I probably made a bit of a misplay by selling that other golden minion, so Juggler isn't going to get as strong. Um, but I mean, the Humongous is going to get massive if we can manage to find some really nice imaginary buffs for it. Um, we also still get a bit of a buff on this from the, uh, the Rip Snarl, so not looking too bad, honestly. Let's get some nice value trades in there, and the Divine Shield is going to probably carry him here. Nope, we're going to tie. Awesome. Okay, well, that's a really good result for us there. Fantastic. Alright. So, I think we'll probably level up here. Yep, so we'll level up. Use our hero power. We'll sell this and we'll play this guy out. Yep. Excellent. Alright, so... 
I mean, it probably isn't the most ideal board. We probably want to try and find another really nice minion, like the Bronze Warden wouldn't be too bad to work with this, but um, I feel like this is okay for the moment. We can just let it go. Um, we do want to sort of restructure these slightly. They were in the wrong position before, but this seems fine. Yep. All right, so, yeah, like I said, if we can find one more effective minion type, we'll probably get rid of the Rip Snarl, um, just because it's not really what we're after, and it's not actually golden as well. So, Golden Minion is obviously very important for Grubber as well. So, anyway, up against Akazamarak, we probably won't get a um, a combat analysis from the add-on because, obviously, secrets are not supported. So, we'll just see what happens. Okay, so a bit of a Murloc start for him. Uh, I think we should do pretty well here. Not an ideal attack there straight into the Poisonous, but at least it's more now, so... And the Alchemungulus is doing amazing work at the moment. I kind of regret um, not picking up the uh, the triple for it, obviously, because I've been offered it quite a few times. But um, anyway, we're still fine here, so good result there. Yep, we've been damaged. Means he procs his Ice Block. Yep. So it's actually probably not a bad result for him because he actually manages to save, save quite a bit of health there. Nice work All right. out there. So, we don't have any mechs. We do have murlocs, though. So, I guess we will pick up this. Uh, we'll chuck this back in the pool as well. Use our hero power, and let's roll. All right, we could pick up the Herald of Flame as well. It's potentially something we can take advantage of. But I feel like the Toxfin is actually something that we also want. And we get another Grubber. Okay, and another Jug. Oh, boy. Okay, um, so... Ripsnail goes, I think. Yep, let's get rid of it. And we're going to pick this up. And we're going to play that out as well. Awesome. Okay, so let's play this out. Unfortunately, I can't quite buy the jug here. So I'm just considering exactly what I want to do with my options. Um, these obviously stay. And I can probably just freeze for it next turn, to be honest. Let's just do that. So we'll pick that up next turn. Um, this will be stronger, technically, so we'll put that there. This will still be that health, um, or that attack value is still quite low. But we are playing last position, so hopefully we don't get hit too hard here, and we'll get a bit of a buff from the, the Jug next turn. But, um, yeah, double, obviously double jug, Juggler like getting our next Golden Minion next that? turn is really exciting, so hopefully we get some good stuff. Alright, pretty strong with the Goliath. Um... That's not a bad attack for us, because this actually still trades in, so that's actually a really good result. He's actually still quite weak here, so even with the crazy attack values on these things, it's not going to matter. Yep, so that is a win for us, and he's eliminated. Excellent. Alright, and it's golden minion time, so I really hope we can get something nice here, um, because we can obviously take advantage of it with Gold Grabber. Yep. Alright, we've got a Void Lord. That's actually not too bad. Um, it's a little bit unfortunate because we already have a really good demon in hand, but um, yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, let's go grab the jug. Would really love to triple um, our gold grubbers, but we'll just have to see what comes up. Yep. Um, no great battle cries here to work with Bran at the moment. We don't actually have um, any mechs, so that's actually no good. And we pick up another jug, so that's pretty good. All right, so we'll just play these out to start with, and we'll see what we pick up from the Void Lord Triple a in a moment. Tactical choice. Yep, playing these out. Um, yep. I'm yep, lovely. Do I want to roll one more time? Yep, we're going to continue to roll. Still really looking for that um, that triple on, on Juggler. Excellent. And up a goal. Oh, wow. Okay, more jugs. Jugs for days. That is exciting. Alright. I think I do play this out here. Um, yeah. I obviously, I'm going to need room for these next turn, but... Anyway, let's see what we get from this. I'm sort of just mucking around and not actually doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Alright, all of these are kind of nice. Um, Tide Raise is probably the one that we're most interested in, though. So we'll grab that, and I think we'll just freeze uh, until the next turn. So... At this stage, we may end up just um, you got this. selling this, no even though it's a golden minion. Just because it's nowhere near as good as our Humungulus, and we need that slot open for Bran. 
Um, I mean, in a perfect world, we'll find a triple really bad attack, by the way. But uh, that's a massive bogo. So this will probably be a loss. We still have quite a bit of health, so it's not the worst result. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, we'll probably... Um, we'll, probably we'll just try and roll and try and find that, that triple. Um, and if we don't, it's okay. I'm just going to send up selling this, because it's only a small extra buff for the juggler. So... And a pretty average minion top, to be honest. Alright, so this is probably going to be a bit of a nasty hit here. Would love to be able to kill some stuff. Um, fortunately, this is quite high tavern tiers, so it's going to be a bit of a nasty hit, but not terrible. So we're not going to whine too much about it. Okay, so now that we've got our, our last triple, I don't think we're going to worry about using our dig, because I just feel like the game's probably not going to last that long. So, yeah, let's just grab these to start us off. Um... This is still pretty good. Yeah, and like I said, not going to worry about digging at this point. Okay, so, yeah, we're going to sell Void Lord. I know, I know, it might not seem like a good play at this stage, but I just think it's it's worthwhile um, to get that, that extra buff happening, or that extra buff slot happening while we have Bran. We can always sell Bran at some point as well, so it's honestly fine. All right, yep. So we'll play these out. We'll obviously pick up the... Um, well, actually, we probably want the Promorphin, because we can actually afford to grab the, uh, the Gurgle choice. as well. We sell both minions. Oh, wow. Okay, that's nice. And we'll get the Cold Light. Very nice. Okay, so this is looking nice. Very good. Um, we will play this out and sell it. Yep. Let's go at the front. And we've got more. <laughs> more McGurgles all over the place at the moment. Um feel like we'll probably just hold on to these for the moment, although, eh, we can pick them up next turn, it's fine. Alright, fantastic. So, the Begurgle at the front actually isn't bad against George, because there's going to be quite a few Divine Shields in play. Um, Alright, so he does have a few Poisonous Minions. does get that first attack, which is pretty nasty for us. And we hit pretty much the worst possible minion there, which is really unfortunate. And we are just running into these Poisonous left, right and centre. So, yeah, it's going to be a really bad loss for us again. Okay, <laughs> pretty unlucky there. Uh, pretty nasty hit as well. We're going to, need to be down to 6 health. Um, yeah, okay, I don't really know what to say about that. That was just slightly unlucky, but... Um, I mean, he was always going to win. I mean, it wasn't unlucky in that respect, but... Just a little bit unfortunate. Maybe we pick up the ghoul to, to counter against him, but... Yeah, I feel like I still need to get stronger against these other guys anyway. Alright, let's keep going. Um, none of these are all that exciting, so we'll just leave it be. Better hire a recruit. Light Fang um, could maybe take over from the buffing duties of Bran. It also opens up, well, it doesn't actually open up a slot because we still need this in play, so yeah, let's not bother. Better hire a recruit. Alright, these are pretty average can. cards, so there's that as well. Let's just keep rolling. Um, we do pick up the mug if we want it. We would have to sell everything to afford it, so I don't really think that's all that exciting. We're still looking to triple, um, gold grabber here as well, so let's continue to roll. Yeah, if we could find that, that'd be really, really useful. Okay, so we have to have to think about what we want to do here. Pirates 5 has done a lot of damage to people recently, so I'm thinking potentially it's probably better for us just to play the Tide Razor out here, so we might just sell this. Yep. And I know that the, the brand would be a better sell there, but I still want to maintain it to, uh, to potentially take advantage of um, of the Battle Cry buff. But um, anyway, we'll see how we go here. Been a little bit unlucky last couple of turns, not in terms of results, but just playing people who are significantly stronger than us. But um, anyway, it's all good. We'll match these up a little bit differently, and we'll just see how this goes. I mean, our, our stats are really, really good. It's just the fact that we cannot seem to play people who don't have Poisonous. <laughs> but this guy does not, so I think we should be fine here. He really doesn't actually look all that strong. Um, he does have a decent amount of taunts there to sort of soak a bit of the damage, but I feel like we're a lot stronger here. It does pop the boat at the best possible time, but... Well, not best possible time, but close enough. Today you trading... There's no way he survives here, even with these crazy value trades. Yep. So we will have to see who else is eliminated this turn. Yeah, awesome. 
Yeah, well, for once our stats actually matter for something. They actually um, come out on top. All right, so there goes Barov. Didn't manage to win the wager on that one, and he is gone. And we're into top four. Awesome. All right, so Van Cleef, last time we played them, um, did not have Poisonous. He's got, still got Morlocks, took damage from this guy, which is kind of interesting. Um, okay, so we're going to pick up the lookout here. We'll pick the Ghoul up as well for later. Um, all right, none of these are all that exciting. we got another Ghoul, which, once again, is not all that exciting. Okay, get the bomb with it as well, so... It feels bad, but I'm going to sell the Tide Razor here, and we're going to continue on our merry way with Bran. Yep. Some pretty decent value here, so we're going to go for it. Yep. Alright, let's pick this up as well. Might actually triple this in the end. <laughs> we will. I'm actually going to pick up the C here, I think. Um, yeah, okay, whatever. We'll get the triple reward as well. Definitely hey, take that. Here's your reward. Yep. Uh, we'll start off with this. Excellent. It's sort of a bit of a Murloc build as well, ourselves, which is kind of bizarre. Um, Amalgadon's actually pretty good here, so I might get that on the board as soon as possible. Better Still looking for our triple on Razor... Well, not Razor Gore, on um, Gold Grubber. Let's play this out. Yeah, put it at the front because it has Poisonous Divine Shield. Awesome! Okay. Pretty good turn for us there. We now have our own Divine Shield uh, poisonous guy. So hopefully that gives us a decent start. Okay, and that's the best possible attack. And that's second best possible attack. So fair to say we got pretty lucky with those attacks. So um, this is amazing good for us here. Yep. Awesome. Okay, so into potentially top two here because hopefully Georgie Boy's knocked out. Uh, but we do have a ghoul if we do run into him again. Um, yeah. Alright, so he is eliminated and... Ooh, we're still in the game. And we're going to play him now. So, obviously our ghoul tech is going to come in uh, very much handy here. All we have to do here is roll for triple on gold grabber. And that's pretty much it because we're probably going to end up selling the, um, the brand. Go ahead and hire yep. one of these. Um, do keep an eye out for other stuff that could be potentially useful, though. Don't completely forget about it. Alright, um, yep, nothing here. Still looking for that gold, gold grabber. Yep, not, not getting anything at the moment. We keep picking up the ghoul. It really wants to be here at the moment. Alright, well, this looks like it's all over. I probably could have just leveled up, to be honest. May have been a better option. I guess we can get a buff. Well, no. I just want to keep rolling here. If I can find the triple, I am laughing. But I cannot at the moment. Yep. Alright, so Bran has to go here, obviously. Um, and we'll play this out as well. Now, in terms of the ghoul positioning, we have to have a think about that. Now, he's going to have dramatically more um, divine shields than I will. So, I feel like putting it at the front is the right idea here. Um, we still want the Amalgadon here, even though it won't have Divine Shield. Um, there's still a chance it gets run into anyway. So, um, and obviously if it can somehow snipe something really small with its poisonous ability, then it's still quite useful. But we have to make sure that this dies as early as possible. Worst result here is that he attacks into this and kills it with something before this goes off. Um, which could very much happen here. Nope, okay, we've got a pretty good result there, so we will break all the other divine shields. Result. Unfortunately, he still has the selfless hero. Oh boy, this is going to be massive. Um, and we do manage to run into that, unfortunately. But, then again, we've killed another poisonous minion, so... Got a terrible result there. Breaking a shield is great. Yep, and I think we're actually fine here. I think the, um, the text worked really well. Yeah, it has. Great. So, really, really useful uh, is that ghoul, that ghoul minion against George is just insane. So. Excellent. All right. So, up against our final competitor. Now, this guy does have the crazy Your big pogo from what really I remember. Um, 6131 Divine Shield 20. He also has a lot of other mech cards. So, it's a good chance that this will get some value as well. Even if it's not as good as against Georgie Boy. Um... Alright, anyway, we need to keep rolling. We still need to find Triple on Grubber. 
Let's just double up here. There's no point in staying at this tier. Um, gives us a better chance of finding it as well. Yep. Alrighty. Show me the grubber. Nope, not gonna happen. Alright. Um, well, there's really nothing else that we really want here. Nope, don't think so. I probably have gone straight past the uh, the triple four humongous multiple times. <laughs> I, I haven't really seen it all at all, but um, I'm sure it's probably been there at some point. So uh, anyway, we'll just leave it there. Um, is this guy going to get bigger than this guy at this stage? I don't think it matters too much, but we'll move him up. Um, yeah, so same as before, we really want this to kill off the Divine Shields. Worst possible result is he has the Pogo at the front. And he gets value by killing this straight away. Um, there's still a chance it can run in here. So we'll just see though. But the ghoul, the ghoul has to stay, obviously. It's just a, a no-brainer at this point. Um, I don't think he had a Cobalt Jr. So... Alright, yeah. So he's got more Divine Shields than us. So this is obviously a, a good result to kill them off straight away. Yep. Alright, that's good. And we kill off the Massive Pogo, which is really, really good as well. And this will actually survive killing this, which is really, really good. If once it eventually does attack, uh, actually it doesn't matter because it's dead. So it does have the double jog bot. I feel like our stats are going to stand up here though, because they're not golden, so it's going to get big enough here. Yeah. No, I think we've got this. The question is, is if, if we actually eliminate him here, and I think we actually do. Yeah. So that's it, guys. We managed to do it. We got really lucky with our attacks there. I'm not going to lie. But that ghoul tech was just absolutely crucial. Made the world of difference against those opponents. So it's really something that you need to consider towards the end of the game. And hey, I won one. I feel like I always get second in these games that I record. But um, finally managed to take out a win. So I'm pretty chuffed with that. So there you go. All right, guys. Well, that was the game. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, enjoyed watching the video. If you did, maybe think about giving it a thumbs up. But most importantly, I hope you're staying safe and staying healthy. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.